Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, whenever you're joining us for this presentation on consolation. So for a brief review, we remember from our lecture on desolation that God can speak to people directly. That's usually not what happens. God usually inspires us through feelings or something else. And that because we can't, because most of us hear God's message mediated through our experience and the experience of others, we have to discern it, right? There are many ways to lead that lead to God. We have to learn and to to understand which what what, what God is actually trying to do to us. And so, what it, let's just start generally. What is consolation? Consolation is fundamentally that interior movement by which your soul is you understand God's love for you and are drawn by God to God's self. That and the source of that consolation is one of two things. It can come directly from God, or it can be caused by a created thing. And because it can be caused by a created thing, and this is where most of us experience consolation, we have to discern it. Any road, there are many roads, but we have to figure out which one of those roads leads to God. And so, how do you know your... So, consolation is that feeling of being inflamed with love of God, but how do you know you're in consolation? And fundamentally, and this should come from your... you should This should look familiar because of Thibodeau, is going to be because you are... You experience these things. Maybe one of them, maybe multiples of them. That you have an exp, increase in faith, hope, and love, a sense of God's closeness, peace and tranquility, great desires, or transparency. So what we mean by faith, hope, and love, these are what are known as the three cardinal virtues. And if with what we can have all these inspirations for doing things, but if they're not, if we don't do them out of love, if there is not an increase in our awareness of God, you can feel good and you can be inspired, but that, if that inspiration isn't leading you to God, it's not really consolation. So fundamentally, we if you are in consolation is an increase in those virtues, faith, hope, and love. You may not be a person of faith, but if you can experience that love and that hope, you, that gives you an idea that you may in fact be in consolation. The next phase of consolation is a sense of God's closeness. Now we hear here we have this beautiful uh, verses from from the Psalms, the sense that God is intimately involved in us. God is, God is creating and sustaining the entire universe because God loves us, cares for each and every breath we take, each and every atom in our, in, in our being. And when we are aware of that, we, that, that can be a sign of that, of that we are in consolation. We are aware of how, just how close God is to us. Next, we can feel a sense of peace and tranquility. That that not peace as in I have no cares, but peace is that even though we will struggle or have limitations or our own failures, God will be with us. And we can have the confidence in that, that we will never be alone, that God is with us in this time. We can have we can be living in unpeaceful times and experience and having to do work that doesn't make us very tranquil, but it's that confidence that God is there with us that is a sign of our, uh, that we're in consolation. And finally, or next, great desires. Ignatius changes this up a little bit, where as prior to him, people saw the, the desire as a sign of our baseness, our, our humanity. But for Ignatius, he realizes that those great desires can also be a form of God's communication to us. But it's not my desires it's letting God desire in me. Letting God reveal how God wants us to care and love for each other and inspire us to do that. And finally, desolation is all about, fundamentally is about aloneness, isolation, and, and then therefore secrecy. But when we're in consolation, there is a sense of transparency. We're not hiding anything. We're not worried about what others might think or anything like that. We are fine being who we are. 
we're fine doing the things that we are called to do because in God, there's no fear because secrets are fundamentally about hiding, which is about being alone. So God is transparent. God's love is transparent. And when we're in consolation, we can know that because we have a feeling of transparency. We're not afraid to hide. And so we know we're in consolation when we have... It, our, our consolation is commonly going to be expressed in one of these five areas. You might have combinations of the two um, or even three, but these are kind of the, these general categories. And so now, what you're going to do is I'm going to give you a selection uh, from Thibodeau again, where he goes into each of these five areas of consolation and gives you a better ex a sense of what they are. And then what I'm going to ask you to do in your writing for this chapter is to reflect on a time you've either experienced consolation or you've seen someone else in consolation. A lot of a couple of guys did a really interesting thing with des with uh, indifference about be showing how they they saw somebody else be indifferent, and you can also do that. So good luck. I hope this is helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, as always, come and talk to me.